بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم عارف اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو دا نیکسٹ سیشن آن دا سبجیکٹ آف سسٹم پروگرامنگ وتھ لینکس ٹوڈے سیشن از اے کنٹینویشن آف دا پریویس سیشن دیٹ واز این اوور ویو آف پرجین کنٹرول سسٹمس اینڈ دا بیسک ورک فلو آف گٹ اف یو ہیو ناٹ سین دیٹ ویڈیو آئی اسٹرانگلی ریکمینڈ دیٹ یو شوڈ فرسٹ سی اینڈ پریکٹس دیٹ ویڈیو اینڈ دین کم ٹو دس ون ٹوڈے وی ول ہیو اے کوئک ریکیپ آف دا پریویس سیشن then we will talk about the working with branches in git and finally we will talk about the remote repositories well dear students before we proceed let us have a quick recap we talked in the previous session that git has a three tree architecture the working directory the staging index and the local repository Well, the working directory is any directory on your file system that has a repository associated with it. Or you can say that a working directory is a directory that has a .git directory inside it. The staging index is a cache between the working directory and local repository. And finally, the local repository holds the changes of our project over time. We all know that we can initialize an empty repository with a git init command. After we have initialized an empty repository, then we create files and subdirectories and edit their contents. After we are done making some changes in the project, we put some of those or all of those changes in the staging area using the git add command. And finally, we perform a commit operation to send the changes from the staging index to our local repository so we keep on making changes to our project perform add and commit operations and repeat while doing this we keep on checking the commit logs and the status of the repository to ensure that the working tree is clean well dear students we also learn to delete and rename files ignore files and reset to old commits and finally we also talked about that while performing all these operations our files can either be tracked or in untracked status let's talk about branches in git Well, dear students, a Git branch represents an independent line of development. Every Git repository has at least one branch called the master branch. Suppose we have a master branch and we have made a single commit on it. And the head is pointing to, of course, this commit. Once we make another commit, the head moves ahead. We make another commit, the head moves ahead. and we make another commit and the head moves ahead so you can think of head as a pointer that always points to the tip of the current branch on which we are working suppose you are working on a project and have done some commits on the master branch which is the main line of your project development you think of adding new features to your project but uh, let's suppose that you are not sure whether the new features will will work or not so you have two options option one is you continue working on the same branch and if the new feature is a success it's great and the development continues as shown uh, in this diagram on the contrary if the new feature is a failure you roll back to to commit with the SHA 36A2 as shown over here using a git reset command and your master branch again becomes similar to the one shown over here well the option two uh, is that you create a new branch you create a new branch using the git branch command 
and then you move on to that new branch and start doing commits over there. Let's suppose I have done a commit on the new branch. Then I do another commit on this branch. And then I do another commit on this branch. And the head of course keeps on moving ahead. At the same time you may like to switch on to this main branch and do commits over here as well. So there is this one line of development and this is another line of development. So you can uh, use development on these two parallel lines. Okay, so if the new line of development do not work as expected, suppose whatever we have done over here doesn't show us good results. Our master branch continues ahead and we drop this command, drop this branch. And if this new branch is a success, we can always merge it with the master branch. Let us move on to our Linux terminal and makes our hands dirty by, by creating branches in our project. Well, right now I am Arif and my present working directory is the same directory on which I have worked in the previous session. You can see the files over there. Let me check git status. The working tree is clean. Let me do a git log, a one liner. And you can see the head pointer is pointing to the last commit object in the master branch. And that is where we created the dot git ignore file. You can also see the portion of the hash that identifies uh, this git object. Let me clear screen, do an ls. Uh, let me delete the, uh, the some unnecessary files, file1, file2 and temp.txt. So let me do git rm file1, file2 and temp.txt and let me do a git commit. Remember I have done using git so that's why I, I do not need to add it to the staging index. I need to directly do a commit operation. Deleted unnecessary three files from project. Okay, let me check status again. So it is clean. Let me do git log one line. So we have now another commit over here. And let me do ls. And you can see now in my project, I just have three files, the authors, readme, and the prog1.c. Well, dear students, up till now, there is only one branch in our project, and that is the master branch. You can see we have just one branch. Let's see the contents of the head file inside the .git directory, just for our review. Okay, let me get dot git uh, refs heads and this master. You can see this is the hash of, of uh, the latest commit object. Let me confirm it using git log iPhone iPhone one line. You can see b3 bea3f the same commit is over here as well. Okay, now let us create a new branch. Uh, the command to create a new branch is git branch and let me name the branch as branch1. A new branch with the name of branch1 has been created. Let's check out now. You can see we have two branches. And the aesthetic with the master shows that my current branch is 
uh, master this is the branch on which uh, I am sitting right now and now if I do ls dot git refs heads you can see over here we have now master as well as branch one and if I do cat dot git refs heads and branch one so it contains the SHA of the latest commit and if I do a master it contains the same SHA value so right now we have uh, two branches and we haven't done any new commit on branch one so that's why the head is pointing to the same location okay let's move on to the new branch now and start uh, working on on that branch let me do git checkout branch one let me check you can see the static with branch one now so this is my current branch whatever development and commits uh, we will do now they will be done on this new branch that is branch one and the master branch will remain unaffected Okay, so let me do a uh, cat prog one dot c. Uh, right, student. Let's suppose that I want to bring a change in this program and want to make it modular by putting its code in multiple files. For example, uh, mm, I want to create a my add function and place its code in a separate file and use that function over here in prog one dot c. But I'm not sure whether this idea will be a success or not so what I have done is I have created a new branch and I'm going to try this idea on, 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 on this new branch so that the master branch remains unaffected let's do this vim prog 1.c okay let me let me do let me say over here uh, my add this is a function I'm going to write soon and I'm going to create a hydro file for this as I've done in previous sessions as well and uh, that header file is of course my math.h and that will exist in, in the present working directory so I have added a new line that is hash include my math.h and I have edited uh, this line so that is it let me save and quit and let me do git add prog 1.c let me do a commit making changes in prog 1.c okay uh, let us now create the header file my math.h and let me add the signature of that function over here double my add pass two arguments okay and uh, let me add and commit this as well git add my math.h and git commit hyphen m created my math.h fine let us create the my add.c file as well let me vim my add.c and let me write down double my add double a double b and let me say return 
a plus b so fine let me add this to the staging index my add dot c let me commit this get commit hyphen m created my add dot c okay fine i've done the necessary changes uh, let us check the get status it is clean let me check the log okay you can see log shows two branches now and the head is pointing the tip of the current branch and that is branch one you can also observe the three new commits in the new branch this one this one and this one let me do ls you can see the two new files my add.c and my math.h in the in the working directory let's switch gear and jump onto the master branch by using git checkout master and you can see i'm on the master branch and you can see the master branch is unaffected my add.c and my math.h are not there on the master branch let us jump onto the new branch again get checkout branch one I'm on the branch one and you can see the contents of the working directory are changed. Let me do a comparison of the two branches by using git diff command master branch one. Okay, you can see uh, we have uh, my add.c. This is a new file which has been created. You can see my math.h. This is a new file which has been created. And you can see uh, prog1.c. This is a new line that has been created. And this minus and plus sign shows that I have edited this line to this line. Let us now do the compilation and check out whether this works or not. Let me do ls first. Get, oh no, I have to do gcc now hyphen c and let me do this okay there it says some error that you few arguments to add and we have issues in prog 1.c okay so what's the error it says too few arguments to my add uh, double ans my add x plus y okay so what's the issue when my add dot c so my add double a double b it is past two arguments fine when prog one dot c my math dot h is there works for two arguments and should have worked why it is not working anybody can tell me oops yes it is being passed only one argument so i need i need to put a comma over here instead let me do git add again and let me add this prog one dot c and let me do git commit hyphen m uh, a minor change in prog one dot c okay okay now let me do gcc hyphen c static dot c it has worked gcc static dot o let me name it uh, my xz and let me execute my xz okay great 
so we, uh, we we have done changes we have made our program modeler and you can see we have my add.c containing the add function and my math.h containing the signature of the function and prog1.c is the driver so uh, since this is uh, working great so i need to merge now i need to merge the two branches remember we have two branches branch one has successfully added a new feature now i want to merge these two branches so let's move on to the slides again let's talk about merging of branches in git okay so we know how to create a new branch and how to perform development on that branch and after we are done developing and testing the new feature it is time to bring those changes back to the master branch and there are two types of merges one is fast forward merge and the other is a real merge let's talk about the fast forward merge first okay consider this scenario there are two branches master and the new branch uh, since no further commits have been done on the master branch no further commits have been done over here we have just done development on the new branch therefore git will uh, by default do a fast forward merge so git had just merged it easily this is known as a fast forward merge uh, well before you give the merge command your current branch must be the receiving branch so whenever you are doing a merge since you are going to merge this new branch with the master branch so you must be sitting on the master branch so git check out master and then you need to give the, the merge command okay let's talk about the real merge now consider the same scenario uh, uh, in case of real merge we, we 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 do a commit for the merge as well so if you want to force to do a real merge you need to give this option to the merge command hyphen hyphen no hyphen ff so if you do like this a new commit will be created like this and this branch will stay and later on whenever you will come back to these commits you will come to know that this is a branch and we have merged this branch with the master branch over here well real merge is actually important when uh, the development is being done on both the branches in this scenario you cannot do a fast forward merge because on the master branch we have created the new branch over here and then we have done certain commits and on the master branch as well the development is proceeding now the only solution is a real merge like this okay let us move on to the terminal again and see this practically let me clear screen let me do get branch well right now i'm on branch one having the new files and since uh, to merge i need to be on the master branch so let me move on to there check out to master i'm on the master branch now remember there are uh, no files no my math dot h and my add dot c are there okay and well uh, these files are just there because uh, they are not being tracked you can check the status it will be clean okay well i am on the master branch let me do merge hyphen hyphen no hyphen ff and the name of the branch it will open the editor for uh, and asking for the commit message and it is saying merge branch branch one okay let me add on with the master branch and let me save and exit so it says it has done the merge let me do ls let me do clear screen first okay you can see the new files over there now 
if I do git log hyphen hyphen one line you can see this commit is there and right now if I do git branch you can see I'm sitting on the master branch and the master branch has all the changes over there okay so we are done with merging of branches let us uh, talk about an issue that might turn up on branches let's talk about that issue on the slides and that is merge conflicts well what is a merge conflict well dear students suppose there are two branches one is the master and the other is branch one and both those branches has a file suppose file1.txt which is similar in both in the beginning there is a developer sitting on the master branch who is uh, making changes to file one and there is a developer on the branch one who is making changes to to the same file and let's suppose that the developer on master branch change the line 25 of this file and the developer on branch one change the line 50 of this file and try to do a commit and and a merge so in case when one once you merge it will be a success because both the developers have made changes to the same file but to different lines of that file what if both the developers are making change to the same line of the same file in that case we will have a merge conflict so whenever you come across a merge conflict you have three choices to resolve that the first is you can abort the merge the second is you resolve it manually that is open the file in some editor and perform the changes manually and then do the merge and the third one is you can use uh, uh, different tools to automate the merge process like diffuse kdiff3 uh, diff merge there are different tools that that can be used to 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 do this okay well fine uh, the part one is over we know about branches how to do development on different branches and then later how we can merge those branches now we, we need to uh, talk about remote repositories well dear students everything we have done up till now in git is just on our own computer we have done a version control as an individual developer and have successfully kept track of different versions of files in our project now it is time to collaborate to collaborate with our fellow developers and work as a team on a project so far we have worked on the three trees of git that is the working directory staging index and the local repository all existing on the local machine in this slide you can see the remote repository as well that resides somewhere on the internet cloud we need to push all the project data along with the versioning information from our local repository to this remote repository and make it public to the entire world or maybe to a specific team of developers so that they can pull it from the server on their local machines and can add new functionalities to the project and later push them back to to the server well uh, dear students the way there are different web hosting services you might have come across that are available on the internet cloud similarly there are hosting services available for repositories of distributed versioning systems as well and the most famous are bitbucket github and gitlab let us first move on to their websites well this is the website for 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 github github.com currently it hosts about 35 million repositories and there are about 14 million users using a github you can host 
unlimited number of public repositories for unlimited number of team members. But to create a private repository, you need to pay. The other limitation is you can host only Git repositories on, on github.com. The other is bitbucket.org. Well, on bitbucket.org, the public repositories are of course free, but at the same time it allows you to create unlimited number of private repositories as well, but for limited number of team members, up to five, I think. Moreover, using Bitbucket, you can host Git as well as Mercurial repositories on, on, on this website. Uh, I will be using my Bitbucket account to upload all, all the codes for public usage. All the students of this course must create a Bitbucket account to enjoy using the codes discussed in the video sessions and of course for, for better understanding of Git as well. I have already an account on Bitbucket, so let me do a login. Well, I already have a lot of repositories. Uh, please move around this page once you have created your uh, login account and see how you can perform different tasks. Right now, I'm interested to create a, a new empty repository. Let me do that. Let me name the repository temp hyphen repo repository one uh, let me make it public well this is using git not mercurial let me create the repository the repository has been created and if i click the source tab over here you can see right now it it doesn't contain any source and the path to this repository is https bitbucket.org slash rfpucit which is my username for bitbucket slash temp hyphen repo one so this is the name of 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 the, the repository this is an absolute path let us move on to to the slides again okay so let us consider a scenario now I have created a project and have worked on it for quite a while. Uh, there are a lot of files that I have created, edited, and I have done all this development under, under the Git versioning tool on my local machine as a standalone developer over here. Now I want to share my project with the open source community so that they can identify bugs in my software and can add functionalities to it. For that I have already created a Bitbucket account and I have created a public Git repository over there. The next task is to upload my project data files along with its versioning database onto that remote repository. And to do this, I need to use the git remote add origin command. This first command will actually create a connection between my local repository with the remote repository and over here the URL will be of course of of the temp repo one dot git I have just created and after I have created the connection I just need to do a push let us move on to the terminal and make this work let me clear screen okay so right now I am in the hello git directory. This is my project which I want to share. And if I do a hyphen A, you can you can see the dot git directory over here as well. Let me check git status. It is clean. Let me get log. You can see all the commits are here. You can see the branch as well over here. So what I need to do is to upload the data files as well as the versioning database on onto my remote repository on Bitbucket that I just created. And we have seen that it is a two-step process. In step one, I need to create a connection to this local repository with the remote repository. And the command to do that is git remote add origin. And then I need to give the path 
एच टी टी पी एस बिट बकेट डॉट ओ आर जी स्लैश माई यूजर नेम आर एफ पी यू सी आई टी एंड देन टेम्प हाइफन रेपो वन डॉट गिट सो दिस इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट आ कोनेक्शन एंड इफ आई डू गिट रिमोट हाइफन वी यू कैन सी द कोनेक्शन हैज बिन एस्टेब्लिश्ड एंड वी कैन डू अ फैच एंड अ पुश you can always uh, remove the connection using git remove okay remote r e m o t e remote r m origin o r i g i n and if i do a uh, git remote again you can see there is no connection again so let me do the connection again and let me do git remote hyphen v so i'm connected uh well uh, origin is actually the name uh, that i have given to this remote repository you can give some other name as well the way the default name for the first branch is master similarly the default name for for a remote repository is origin and of course you can have more than one remote in your project well anyway so step 1 is over let me move on to the step 2 and that is i just need to push my local repository to the remote and i can do that using git push origin master well uh, this will ask for the username and and the username is rfpucit and last for the password and that i'm not going to tell you so it has successfully uh, sent it up there let me let me move back over here let me click source now again on the same repository if it has been successfully uploaded you must be able to see the code over here well so it has been uploaded the source is there on this remote repository the authors read me my ad dot c my math dot h and prog one dot c let us move on to the slides again well we have successfully uploaded our project on remote public repository now consider another scenario i have a friend kakamanna who is willing to work with me as a developer for free so i sent him an email and requested him to pull down a copy of this project from bitbucket and start collaborating with me on this project so let's see uh, how kakamanna can do this well the first thing kakamanna need to do is to clone my remote repository using git clone command and mention the url of my repository to create a local copy of the project data as well as the versioning database then he needs to do uh, the editing and adding new files and committing those changes on his local repository using git add and of course the git commit command finally when he is done uh, after he is sure that the new functionality has been added he will simply push the latest version of the project on the remote repository using the git push command let's see this on on to the terminal uh over here let me move on to another terminal and login as as kakamana switch user kakamana and the password of kakamana is again I'm not going to tell you. Well, right now I'm Kakamana. My present working directory is is home directory. Let me create a directory. Let's suppose rf hyphen git hyphen project. So Kakamana has created a project. Okay, let me create another one. Uh, git hyphen project. And let me see you to git hyphen project. So right now, Kakamana is in this directory, which is of course empty. 
Uh, now to pull a repository from Bitbucket for the first time, Kakamana needs to do git clone and then the URL https bitbucket.org rfpucit temp hyphen rep one dot git. When it's trying to clone, this command will create a mirror of the remote repository located on uh, Bitbucket in 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 the present working directory. Uh, since temp repo one dot git is public, so anyone can clone it on his or her machine. So we are successful doing this. Well, before I proceed, let me tell you, you can also fork our repository from someone's Bitbucket account to your own Bitbucket account. In case of fork, it will not be copied on your on your computer, rather a copy will be created on your Bitbucket account. So right now Kakamana has done a clone on his local repository. So let me ls, you can see the directory over there, cd temp repo, and let me do ls, you can see all the files over here. Okay, ls hyphen a will show you the dot git directory as well. So far so good. Now Kakamana wants to do some, some enhancement to this project. So what he's going to do is he's going to cp my add.c to my sub.c because he wants to add a functionality of subtraction. Vim my sub.c and he will just edit this file my sub and over here a uh, simple minus will do the job okay uh, get my sub dot c so this file has been properly created let me add this my sub dot c onto the staging index once i have added it in the staging index uh, it must be committed as well commit hyphen m created my sub dot c okay so once I do this, it says that there are certain minimum global configuration which Kakamana needs to do and they are uh, user.email and user.name. These must be given so that Kakamana can commit. So let me do that. Git config hyphen hyphen global user.name is Kakamana and user dot email is kakamana at gmail.com okay fine so these are the two minimum configurations <clears throat> that needs to be done before before using commit okay so let us commit again so this time it will be a success of course <clears throat> Okay, he needs to edit this file as well. Needs to add the um, signature of uh, the my subtract function. Sorry, my sub. So this will suffice. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let's commit hyphen m added added prototype of sub function in my math.h fine so it has been committed change is not staged for commit okay first we need to do a add in my math.h and then I have to do a commit okay and the status is okay but of course i need to do a push again finally i need to make change in prog 1.c and over here let me use a driver let me say this is answer one and this is answer two and 
here I do a sub and I must mention a minus over here and also one and also two. I think that's okay. So let me add prog1.c and let me commit. Uh, okay. Mm. What I need to do is I need to mention that I have uh, changed the driver program for sub function. That's enough. Okay. Uh, let's compile static.c all the c files and let me link and dot all slash here dot out five three so it is successfully working kakamana has done a great job uh, you can always see the log git log you can see these are the commits that has been made by kakamana three commits and right now the head is pointing to the master branch for Kakamana and these are the old commits which have been made by Arif. Let me clear again and check the status. It says that your uh, local branch master is ahead of the origin master by, by three commits and you need to do a push to publish your local commits. Now of course Kakamana will do a push, we will do git push origin master and it will ask for the username let me give rfp ucit for the time being and the password as well and kakamana's uh, has successfully uploaded let us move on to the bitbucket.org now over here uh, let me refresh the page and see Okay, so you can see the my sub dot c is there. So let me see the commits as well. So you can see the commits that Kakamana has made are there. You can see this branch over here. You can all uh, see all the commit IDs or the hashes. Uh, fine, let me move back to the terminal. Let me be Arif now. And well, uh, Kakamana has told Arif now about the feature he has successfully added. Now Arif is very happy and he wants to do a fetch or a pull to update his local repository. Right now I am Arif and the local repository of Arif do not have of course the my sub.c and the other changes that Kakamana has made. And since the connection has already been established, so I just need to do a git pull origin master. So it will do that. And let me do ls now. And you can see my add.c is there. Let me clear screen to a gcc hyphen c static dot c gcc static dot o and and do the linking and let me name it uh, my exe over here and let me execute it 5 2 so great job done by kakamana rf is very happy uh, the program uh, is working fine its development is moving ahead and we have uh, make it modular uh, let's move back onto the slides again so i hope this cloning part is clear and this is a just a review showing you how you can initialize how you can update and uh, how you can how you can fetch and pull the repositories this is a typo there should be a, a fetch or pull over here okay okay dear students that is all for today's session hope uh, learning git was fun uh, if you have liked it please subscribe my youtube channel and share it with your friends i wish you all the best Happy learning and Allah Hafiz.